Who's this guy? Eric Surf Six. Hmm. Best vending machine restaurant in Japan. Thank you. YouTube channel. Critical Eats Japan. Wow. Yeah. Check that guy out. Sign their guest book. Okay. So let's get some cha shu men. Cha shu is pork. So it's going to have pork on top of the ramen. Should be nice. They're advertising for it heavily here. It should be tasty. Ramen takes so oh, only yeah, 25, like 25 seconds. seconds. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty quick. You can uh, get some chopsticks here. Three, two, one. Awesome, there it is. The chashu is buried. I think I got stiffed on the chashu. It's got to be buried. You think it's under the, underneath yeah, there? Maybe. You better be. Yeah. <laughs> Next up is the PKGM. The PKGM toast sandwich. So it's a spicy garlic mayonnaise sandwich. Sounds amazing. Wow, how is this possible that hot food comes out of a machine? I'm just <laughs> endlessly fascinated by this technology. Science. This is, wow. Could it be toasting it right now? <laughs> There's your it's Japanese says, lesson. This is the Japanese lesson toast of the day. The toast the chew. Chew. The toaster is toasting it. Mm -hmm. Yep. The tongs. Tongs to fish it out of there. Yep. I wonder how it's served. Does it come in a box or? It's just interesting. Let's we'll find out. Mm -hmm. It came out the bottom. <laughs> there it is. You got it. Uh, Hot potato. <laughs> so this is the chashu ramen. Chashu ramen. Awesome. But the pork seems to be missing. Oh, you're right. It's on, on the, the bottom. bottom. It's on the bottom. Usually the pork is on the top when you eat chashu men. Let's see if I can fish out a piece. One. That's all you get? Two pieces? Two pieces. Any more? Yeah, over there. Some seaweed now. It's, this is looking more like proper ramen now. Better. Last time we had chashu ramen, it was really good. So I'm looking forward all right, so to this. One of us will be... Yeah. yeah. Give, me, give me some. Okay. It's, Into it's, the cup. it's bad manners to pass it like this, so... Can I do it? Maybe it's okay. There we go. Excellent. Some soup. All right. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, that's hot. That's Maybe hot. That was it hot? Yeah. Okay, we got it. We got it. Oops. Okay. We're good. Wait, there's more chashu. Oh, Give nice. Give me another piece. Okay, thank you. Some seaweed. seaweed. Don't forget the seaweed. Okay. All right. So this will do me. Let's give it a go. Okay, here we go. Hot ramen from a vending machine. This is awesome. Yeah. I cannot believe this technology. <laughs> How do they do it? You yeah. know, ramen. There we Piping go. Piping hot too, isn't it? Cheers. All right, cheers. Wow, it's a good noodle. All right, got some flavor this time. The soup does, yeah. Mm -hmm. Noodles almost have a spaghetti vibe for me. But... Yeah, I agree. Similar to spaghetti. Yeah. Could use a bit of seasoning. This is uh, togarashi right here, which is red chili. Yeah, spicy. Red yeah. pepper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Chashu's really good. Chashu's good? Let me try it. Nice and tender. Whoa. It's good, eh? Mm -hmm. it's got a lot really of flavor. Good yeah. Really soft. Yeah, that's some quality pork for sure. Yeah. Not a bad bowl of ramen for $3.50. Yeah, Japan's doing it right. It's so magical too how it comes out of a machine. <laughs> it's already. amazing. You know? It's critical, man. This is, it's critical. Japan just never ceases to amaze me. Hot foods vending machine. I mean, really, think about it, you know? We are so lucky to be able to find a place <laughs> like this. 
you know? Yeah. This is rare. You know? We're, we're deep out in the countryside in what prefecture? Uh, we're in Guma. We're in Guma prefecture. So it's about two hours north of Tokyo, more or less. Mm -hmm. it's a quality bowl of ramen. For about half the price that you'd pay at a ramen shop. Oh, yeah. Uh, basically, a bowl of ramen at a ramen even, shop is even less. You know, seven, less eight than bucks. Half. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Less than half, maybe, yeah. This is 300? This was 400. Oh, this is 400. The pork. Oh, yeah. Without the pork, it's 300. So. In the past, we've tried some of these sort of ramen that have been a bit mushy. Those noodles are pretty fried right? this time, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Yep. Yeah. See, they've got little towels here for us. Oh, this nice. Is not, this place is deluxe. Five star. That. This is a first. They've got wet towels at the table. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a hamburger to share with you yeah, guys. Yeah, that was a... The machine was out of order. <laughs> it was a big disappointment. It was a disappointment. But yeah. we do have this toast sandwich. Yep. New version. Um, PKGM, PKGM. Yeah, PKGM. Wow. It's toasted. Toasted. Look, it's really toasted. It's it's almost burned. You can smell it. Wow. Yep. All right. So we'll go ahead and cut this one in half. Yep. With this super dull knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good stuff. All right. Thank you. Should we give him a peek? Yeah. Let's give me a peek a look inside. inside. It feels pretty crispy on okay. the outside. That's what she looks like. Well, well, steam coming off of that. What is PKGM, Eric? Any ideas? PKGM. Well, the G stands for garlic. Garlic. Okay. And the M stands for uh, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Right. Garlic. So the mayonnaise. PK we think is a spice. Yeah. Yeah. It's some a type piti, of piti kara. Pirikara, some type of yeah. Japanese spice. Yeah, and it's probably that orange stuff there. Oh, right. Kind of like a grilled cheese sandwich. Cheers. It's got the ham in it. Is there cheese? Oh, I don't think there's cheese, just mayonnaise. Oh, there's cheese. Well. It does have a bit of a heat, but it's not its not a, a pepper heat. No. It? It's more it's, like a mustard it's heat. It's not that spicy, right? really. It's more like a mustard heat. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some mayonnaise. And this is awesome now. The Japanese, the number one Japanese mayonnaise company, Kewpie, has got these little, what do you call them, travel size containers now. Isn't that awesome? This costs about 75 cents. Awesome. I'm not tasting the mayonnaise on mine, are you? I'm mainly tasting the burnt side. The burnt, yeah, side. yeah. It's a bit on the well done side, the toast. Yeah, certainly toasted. Yeah. Good stuff. Something about the mayonnaise in Japan, it's just, it's magical. It's it's creamier, it's thicker yeah, than it's, mayonnaise in Japan. Yeah. It's the texture. Yeah. Help yourself. You got no wasabi today, eh? No, but this is the wasabi. No. No, that's a sandwich. A sandwich. It does qualify as a sandwich now. Before it was just burnt toast. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe pirikara means burnt toast. Maybe. Two dollars for a toasted sandwich that comes out of a machine, served hot, piping yeah. hot. I think it's a bargain. Hard right, to beat. Oh. Okay guys, so we just tidied up. Um, Eric just went off to the use the washroom here, and I thought it would be fun to do a little kind of taste test on him. So I've got a couple drinks, um, and you know I always like to bring some interesting drinks along. So I got this one. I think this is from Taiwan, and this is a sarsaparilla drink. It kind of tastes like root beer a little. So I also. I also managed to find a can of A&W root beer um, from an import shop here. So I'm going to put them in these glasses and when he gets back, I'm going to see if he can tell which is which and maybe which he prefers. So let's see if we can do this. So I've got two glasses here. This, this one's a little bit bigger than this glass. 
So I'll put this in the bigger glass and this in the smaller glass, just so we can remember, okay? So here we go. So I know many of you have already, have already tried uh, root beer before. It's just your standard a and root beer. And some of you may have also tried this drink as well. Which is very similar to root beer, but not quite. So I'm not sure if the color difference will be a dead giveaway or not. But there you go. <laughs> it's, got, it's got a bit more foam, doesn't it? So let me just set these aside so that you won't be able to tell which is which. Let's see if he's coming back. What I did is I set up a bit of a blind taste test for you. Um, one of them is actual a and root beer, and the other one is this Taiwanese sarsaparilla drink, okay? Okay. So what you gotta do is just give them a sip and see if you can okay. tell which is which, and yeah, just give them a sip out okay, of these cups. Well, I'm yep. a big time fan of A&W oh, root okay. beer. This so, might be easy for you then. Yeah, but I'm also very curious about sarsaparilla. This is from where? This is from Taiwan. This is from Taiwan. I think. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's from Taiwan. Very curious. Yeah. So some of your viewers may have okay. tried this already. Okay. But give them both a try and see if you can tell the difference and also which do you prefer or whatever. Just okay, go gotcha. Ahead. This one smells like root beer. <laughs> what, right? exa what exactly is sarsaparilla? <laughs> well, root beer, I don't know about today, but root beer originally is made from sassafras, sarsaparilla. I think, which is either related to sarsaparilla or so not. It's, same, it's very similar. So it's the same root? It's very similar. I'm not sure. Someone hmm. will have to look that up. Um, well, this is very really, similar. really good. Yeah? I like it a lot. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. Tastes very much like root beer. Yes. <laughs> but the question is, is, is it, it A and beer? W root beer? Right. Uh, I don't yeah, know. Give this one a okay. try. Oh, now wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> this one is way sweeter, oh, way really? more stronger bodied, more creamier. Okay. This is this is the bomb. That's the root this beer. This is the bomb. I just want to drink this all day. Okay. So I guess. I guess, I guess this. <laughs> that is, yeah, I guess you're, that you're would right. be my guess. You're right, so root beer right. is much That's sweeter. Totally the root it's a beer. richer drink. If you look but, closely, you can see it's a slightly different color. Maybe that was a bit of a giveaway. I don't know. A little bit. But what did you think of the Sasperlo drink? But you know what? It's I mean, very similar, right? It's like a, it's like a light root beer. So okay. I, I think it, it's not as sweet. This is more, you know, dessert-like. I mean, it's, it's got way more sugar in it. Yeah, right. I think here on the but, can it says it also has, but it's I, made with vanilla, so you might have tasted yeah, yeah, it's it's it. Yeah, it's got more flavor, yes. Yeah. It's full flavor for sure. Mm -hmm. I agree. But this is not bad. This is not bad at all. Yeah, yeah. If you can't get the real deal, can't get root beer, mm -hmm. give that a try and you'll kind of be satisfied. Yeah, I think so. But if you got the real deal, well, you'll probably be It's like, definitely yeah. less sugar too. True, that's no. true. Mm -hmm. Okay, very cool. That was interesting, Paul. Yeah. Thanks. You, you mentioned you were hungry as well. Yeah, actually, I'm still hungry. How about some potato chips? Yeah. Oh, yeah, some potato light. chips. Some, that, some that'd light. That'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah. What so, do you got? What did you find for me this time? I got these here. Um, you, these brought, are, you brought your girlfriend with you? <laughs> these are called G Friend. Girlfriend? It's not girlfriend, it's guy friend. Girlfriend okay? potato chips? It's guy friend. Guy friend potato chips? No, no, chips. it's G Friend, which is. A Korean pop group or something? Is that right? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. sure. Okay, I'm not you're sure. right. It's a K-pop group. These, if you know, please leave a comment. The, yeah, I get, I get it. I get it now. These are the group, the girls that are in the K-pop group. Okay. That, that's what it is, yeah. That's right. I see some Korean written back here. So do you know the flavor on this? It's powerful bulgogi. Powerful bulgogi, which is the... The Korean... Yeah, Korean, Korean meat. And, uh, Korean yakiniku. Uh, Korean yeah. barbecue. So it looks like it's got garlic and... Uh, yeah, so you can see the picture. Sauce. That's what they're trying to go for. The garlic, right, and the meat. Strange packaging, but I like the flavor. It sounds really good. Powerful bulgogi. Yeah, I love bulgogi. Bulgogi's bulgogi, awesome, yeah. The meat, is it's just... It's just drenched in this really yep. tangy sauce. Yeah. It's really good. All right. You're in on this too, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll be in on this. Here you go. 
There you go, that's a bag of potato chips. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't look like there's much color on them. They just look like standard no, chips. Oh yeah. But uh Where's the powerful let's give them a try. See how powerful they are. Huh. Okay. Regular chips. They smell kinda garlicky. Oh the garlic's there. Yeah. Oh, the garlic is overpowering. Yeah, I don't, I'm, but I'm not feeling the bulgogi. Yeah, I'm not feeling Where's the Where's the beef? I'm surprised. Usually Japanese Wrong. products, they really nail that sort of charred meat flavor. But yeah. here it's just all garlic. It's just like garlic chips. Yeah. They're not bad. But not bad. It's a little bit of false advertising yeah. if you ask me. A little bit me. disappointing. Yeah, sorry girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's gonna about do it for this episode. I guess so, yeah. I think I'm gonna grab a glass. Oh, okay, drop a glass. Get some root beer. Get some. And we'll, get some. Uh, we'll, get give it, some. we'll give it a ranking. This amazing. What kind of place is this? <laughs> this is a. It's a hot foods vending machine restaurant. That's what it is. <laughs> so the food items that we had here were the was the ramen, the cha shu and then yeah. we had that very interesting toasted sandwich, the chips, the drinks. Yeah, it's a bit of a light meal. But light meal, yeah. We're on the road. We're, you know, on we're, we're on our way to many other places. So we'll give this one a ranking. I think on my ranking scale, like, what is it, one to six, Eric Heads? Where are you going to go with this, Paul? Um, I don't think I can give it a six. No? I was quite disappointed, no burgers. It was a shame that the burger machine but wasn't happening. That anymore. was, that Chashu ramen was actually one of the best. Right? One of the best ever. ramens I've had, so. No. I don't know, I might. I'd just say, to give it a five, I guess. Is that, five? Is that yeah, too that's generous? No, no. I don't yeah, know. That's, that's pretty fine. good. Yeah, I think I'd have to go uh, maybe uh, maybe a four. Just really disappointed that the hamburger machine was out of yeah. order, but the ramen was amazing. The sandwich was different. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, what I like about these places is that they're trying to do their own original menus. Mm. These vending machine restaurants, they are having they have their own character. Yeah. Their own, like, That's true. whatever people that are making their own original blends and they, mixes. The stuff in the machines is always restocked fresh. Even while we were here, the guy was filling it up. Yeah, again, yeah so. we've noticed that a lot. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. Vending machine, hot vending machines. How does it come from the machine? That's what I want to know. <laughs> this technology just blows my mind, Paul. <laughs> yeah, I am it's, on it's an amazing. endless. We we are on an we're endless living, search to yeah, find all these. We're living in the places. future. What can we're we say? Living in the future. Yeah. So thanks you guys for watching. As always, we look forward to reading your comments, and go over and check out Paul's channel. We did That's a collab right. on your oh, channel, yeah, didn't we, we? We did. That's we right. Went we went to, to the. Automat Diner and found some new burgers there. So that's go right. Check that so out. Yeah, yeah, the burgers are on Paul's channel. Yeah. The link will be right up up here in this corner. Yeah, definitely go check that out. Okay. We'll see you guys next time. I've got a riddle for you. How do you escape from a room with no doors or windows? There's only a table and a mirror in the room. Here's how it goes. You look in the mirror, you see what you saw. You take the saw, you saw the table in half. Two halves make a hole, you crawl out the hole, and you're out. <laughs>